The prospect mouth-watering. Two teams at the peak of their powers, ready for a battle royal, serving as a true gauge of their ability to perform under pressure. Only one team can come out on top. Who will it be? It's Borussia Dortmund. They take on Newcastle United, live on EA TV. Good evening, everyone. We're at the home of the Schwarzgelben, as they're known here in Germany, Borussia Dortmund, and what a venue this is. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Newcastle United. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Loves drifting in off the flank. Oh, fine stop. So they starting 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Bruno Guimaraes plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield. And the striker today is Alexander Isak. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Trying to craft something. defending here well he was keen to give that one a go sadly lacking a bit of accuracy well who will be the player to decide the outcome to determine the course of events no reason at all why it won't be this man Stuart what do you anticipate seeing from him well Derek we know his movement is very clever but it's the speed of that movement that causes defenders so many problems he's got great pace he gets 1v1 against the goalkeepers and nobody can recover Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. And he has options available. Good looking cross. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? the replay and it all starts off with that cross into the box just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it and the volley is struck so clearly which shows just how good his technique is that's a top class finish well just look at his reaction that could prove to be a massive goal for his team well as they restart the game how will Borussia Dortmund reply to that setback Phil Krug Emre Can now. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. But they dealt with the threat posed. Almiron. And it's with Isaac. Managed to get it out of there. The Magpies pushing forward with options available. Almiron. And it might be. Well, maybe scope for Newcastle to add to their lead with this set piece. Now, how about the short corner? Well, space if he goes inside. Pressure applied. Can they make something of it? This could be troublesome. An attack full of promise. Really good build up, but no end product. That's not a bad ball. Well, no damage done. Now the quick counter attack could be on. Well, not to be in terms of the counter attack. Joel Linton. Now, options are plenty. 
And this is a voice. The fans want to see a shot. Oh, good save. Who's going to get on the end of it? Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? Oh, and heading it just over the top. Guimaraes, Sandro Tonali. Phil Krug. Brandt. Emre Can. Decides to shoot. And fine goalkeeping. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Still not clear. Oh, magnificent save! Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. What reaction from the goalkeeper that was. Can someone get on the end of this? In a good position to clear it away. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. And that's it! A goal for Borussia Dortmund to square things here. Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper could do about that. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. And there's the feed into the box. Oh, such an elegant finish! How about that on the volley? A brilliant strike, whatever way you look at it. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, but look at the defenders. They lose their concentration, become sloppy with their marking, and as a result, they find the ball in the back of their net. Just not good enough. Well, he can't control his delight, can he? It's a wonderful moment for his team. First half ends here in Dortmund. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, what a first half he had. I thought he was outstanding. He caused the defenders all sorts of problems with his movement and pace, and he fully deserved his two goals. And I expect more from him in the second half. Into the second half then, with Borussia Dortmund trailing, can they summon the right response? Getting the better of his opponent. Perfect tackle. Brandt. And he favours the inside route. And the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. 
Well, from that close in, that's a really good save. Such good reflexes. Let's see about the delivery. Not really the ideal clearance. Marlin. And cuts inside. Firing it towards goal. No problems for the keeper. Sandro Tonali. And scope for Newcastle to attack out wide. And it's with Isaac. It's still there for him. Well, unfortunately, he couldn't keep the shot down. Substitution it is for Dortmund. Emre Can. And Newcastle unable to hang on to the ball. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Joao Linton. Isaac. On to Almiron. Is this the moment? And it's there for him. And the goal was staring him in the face. But he couldn't take advantage of the chance. Well, that would have extended their lead. What a golden opportunity that was. Chan. Counter-attacking chance. Oh, he looks threatening. Will they profit from this situation? Trippier. Joao Linton. What an important piece of defending. And a penalty it is. Well, when you're behind in the game, you certainly don't want to be conceding spot kicks. Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty, yes. Yellow card, no. Is it going to be 3-1? Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick! A special moment for him! Well, as you can see from the replay, the keeper tries to read the penalty, but he's sent the wrong way, and it ends up looking a very easy finish. Underway again with the score at 3-1. There's 20 minutes remaining now. It is going to be a Dortmund free kick. And all the way through to the keeper. Now there to intercept. This looks more than decent. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammate. Less than convincing defending. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. Well, they're getting closer, but they need to take one of these chances. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. He has teammates around him. 
Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. And he's going to go back and issue a caution here. Well, the referee wasn't going to forget that, was he? Just 10 minutes to go. Well, spot on with that challenge. In with a chance. Surely. And there it is. That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Really good challenge. It's a confident looking run from Marco Royce. And quick thinking defensively. Aller. Benzabaini. Corner coming up for Dortmund. Who can they pick out? Franz. Now with Alain. Royce. That is how to keep it out of the net. So full time it is. And a morale boosting. Three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Well, you always want to get off to a good start. And that's exactly what they've done here. Now they can look forward to the next game. They're in a great position.